morning, students. You are welcome to today's class. Uh, we are still on circle geometry, and you remember what we did uh, last week where we talked about radius, chord, and tangent to a circle. Today, we've been looking at two intersecting tangents and chords of a circle. So, be prepared that today you will learn how to explain the concept of two tangents and two curves of a circle. Also, you will learn how to solve problems involving two tangents and two chords of a circle. So, let's go to the theorem. The theorem we are going to look at today says the length of two tangents from a point outside the circle are always equal. So, let's see that from the diagram. Look at uh, this diagram. BC is a tangent. AC is also a tangent. The theorem now says if the two tangents meet at a point outside, outside the circle, it means the two tangents are equal in length. And you can see, look, if you look at the diagram properly, you discover that what we did in the last class is also here. That is, angle between radius and tangent of a circle is 90 degrees. So now I if we, this angle and this angle, they are equal. And this angle and this angle are equal. That is one of the things you need to learn from this theory. Also, the addition of this angle, the whole of this angle, the whole of this angle, and this angle, if you add it together, it's going to give you 180. So, in this diagram alone, we have about three or four theorems that we can derive from here. So let's move forward. Theorem 2 says if two chords of a circle intersect, then the product of the measure of the part of one chord is equal to the product of the measure of the other chord. Maybe you don't understand what I have written in, uh, in, in words. Please, let's see from the diagram. Look at this one. Chord AC and chord DB. The two chords are intersecting at x. So the theorem is saying that ax, line ax, multiplied by line cx equal to line bx multiplied by line dx. This is what the theorem is saying. So let's move forward and see how we can use the two theorems to solve examples. Look at this particular question. The question is asking us to find the value of x. Anytime you want to solve circle geometry, the first thing you need to do is to inspect the diagram properly. So let's go for inspection here. Look at BC and AC. We have a sign here. And that one is giving us the information that the two sides are equal. And if they are equal, it means triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is an isosceles, isosceles triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. Now, look at AC. AC is a chord, and AQ is a tangent to a circle. So the angle here is 52. According to the theorem, if this angle is 52, then the angle here also will be 52. That is angle between a chord and a tangent of a circle. Yes, if this side and this side are equal, it means this angle also is 52 degrees. What is the reason? That is base angle of isosceles triangle. So let's add 52 and 52 together so that we can subtract from 180 to get this particular angle. By the time we have 52 and 52 together, we are going to get 104. If we subtract from 180, here we are going to have 76 degrees. Why do we subtract from 180? That is angle on a straight line. We have done that before. Now, look at PB and PA. They are tangent coming from a circle and meeting at a point here. It means this line and this line, they are equal. According to the theorem, if they are equal, that means triangle APB is also an isosceles triangle. That will give us this angle to be 76 degrees. Now, to find the value of X. Sum of angle in a, one, in a triangle is 108. Therefore, we can say x equals 108 minus 
the addition of 76 plus 76. Here we are going to have 480 minus 152. Can you guess the answer? What is going to be the value of x? That means x is going to be 28. So this is uh, how to solve. Let's go to the Zoom class or the Google class to learn more and on how to solve this one. God bless you. Thank you.